English is a wonderful language, constantly changing, evolving and growing. Over the centuries, it's borrowed words, phrases and ideas from languages across the globe. English allows us to share ideas in the most beautiful way. It allows us to communicate with precision, choosing the exact word for a specific idea or moment. English gives us a wonderfully rich palette with which to express ourselves. Official estimates suggest there are a quarter of a million distinct words in the English language. Counting different meanings of the same word, and including archaic words that are no longer in use, that figure rises to more than a million. Learning to spell each word individually probably isn't the best approach, but as luck would have it, there are a few concepts that can help with learning to spell. Phonics. That's the sound of language and letters and groups of letters that represent them. Orthography the conventions we use to turn a spoken language into a written one. Morphology, the units of meaning that make up the words we use. And etymology, the history and origin of words and how they've changed over time. As well as helping with spelling, understanding these concepts can help us to read and work out the meaning of unfamiliar words. When presented with a potentially challenging word, we can break it down into smaller parts and then use our knowledge of etymology and morphology to try and understand it. Difficult to understand and indeed to spell, but if we break it down, then we have something we can begin to make sense of. We have pneumono to do with the lungs, ultra, very or extremely, micro, small, scopic to see, silico, having the properties of the element silicon, volcano, fiery as if from a volcano, coni, dust, and osis, a condition or a disease. So there we have it. Pneumono ultramicroscopic silico volcaniconiosis is a lung disease that affects miners, caused by breathing in a fine volcanic dust. It's still not an easy word, but suddenly it isn't incomprehensible. If we can use these four concepts to underpin how we teach spelling in schools, we'll have every child able to spell before you can say pneumono, well, you get the idea.